hello welcome everyone uh, so today i will start your online class this class is for class 7 english version uh, so i'm going to do an experiment using fed simulation so fed is a great uh, website for science and math educators and i have given the link in the video description for you so here you can see the fed simulator so there is a sweater uh, or jumper and a balloon and here is a wall <clears throat> so you can see all the plus and minus sign are gathered or jumped up here okay and in this wall you can also see the plus and minus signs here what does the plus and minus signs is indicating the plus signs are indicating that the protons okay the plus signs indicates the proton and the minus signs indicate the electrons so here you can see that for every plus sign there is equal number of minus sign so for every plus sign you will see that there is equal number of minus sign okay so uh, there is something i can show you so if you want to uh, banish all those charges so just click it and you see that there's no charges so uh, just like magic so it's kind of uh, connecting to find it uh, and you will find it more interesting uh, if i show all the charges okay and now uh, you can see that <coughs> uh, if i uh, just ra um, if i just uh, move this balloon and come in contact with this uh, jumper or sweater that all the negative charge has jumped to this uh, balloon but why did all the uh, electrons jump to the balloon because the balloon has more electron affinity it loves electrons it wants electron it's, it will grab all the electrons from that uh, sweater so you can see that the balloon uh, is there are so many negative charges in the balloon and if I uh, keep it like this the balloon is attracted to the sweater why does it attract it because you can see that the sweater here the sweater here is positively charged okay uh, so I can just another time do this another time okay you can see that the sweater is positive charge because of there is so many plus charges here and the uh, balloon is negatively charged because there are so many negative charges here so you can see that uh, but, or you can call that the sweater is has become positively charged and the balloon has become negative charges as positive and negative attracts so if i keep the balloon here it will come in contact with the sweater automatically because the positive charges of this sweater is attracting the negative charges of this balloon so um, i think all of you uh, have gotten and got the idea so i have just introduced another balloon and uh, if I wrap this with <laughs> all the negative charges here and you can see that it will also but it is attracting the uh, um, wall but why does it attract in the wall what is the reason behind it if you see that the wall is neutral if I uh, keep it uh, keep the balloon aside you can see that the wall is neutral and it has also equal number of positive and negative charge so what is happening here the balloon the green balloon here is negative charge if I come to the vicinity of this wall what is happening the magic the negative charges are moving the negative charges are just going far from this balloon they don't like this balloon they are they are just hate this balloon they're just uh, feeling that why are you here go away i don't like you so this is the thing is happening here but the positive charge they are not moving 
you can, why the positive charge don't move in a uh, nucleus the positive charge never moves okay whatever moves is the electron so so the positive charges are uh, just like uh, your mother they don't go anywhere so they always stay in home the positive charges are like this and uh, electrons are like you uh, my students okay if you feel angry sometimes you go out okay i'll stay here i'm not going to leave with you and you go away it, yes so what is happening in total that the negative charges in this balloon is uh, repelling all the uh, negative charges of the wall and the negative charges of this wall is moving far far they are running uh, far from this balloon okay so this is the main concept why this balloon uh, is attracting uh, or if you uh, you can do this experiment in your house also you just wrap the balloon and uh, if you just keep this balloon uh, beside a wall uh, or vicinity of the wall the wall will attract this balloon because of this phenomena so this is kind of you know, use magic of uh, static electricity you can do this with another thing uh, you can do this with uh, your pencil if you rub it with uh, something like this and keep uh, rub it uh, with uh, rub against the against the wall and what you will have to do just uh, the paste the pencil in another place you will see that the uh, pencil will stick to that uh, wall okay so just uh, do this uh, experiment in your house and uh, let me know uh, that you did this experiment okay so uh, we'll start our new class uh, in uh, you will start our class in the next class uh, so that's all from today thank you everyone